Hello, YouTube, YouTube land, YouTube subscribers, YouTube viewers. This is going to be shared to you from Judica Isles book. They bought me this book many moons ago. And so I'm trying to share a lot of these workings out of it and share to you. Since I can't get in my prayer room right now. So I thought this is the next best thing. I'm using my magnifying glass. Um, I'm looking down because I'm reading it out to you. But this one is going to be a banish evil spell. Spell working. Okay. Banish evil spell. Okay. Sometimes it's not clear what or who needs to be banished. There's just a prevailing sense of evil that needs to be expelled. This spell is most effective during the dark moon. An iron hammer is required, as is a flat rock, and either a coffin nail or an old rusty nail. Every time Lee comes across rusty nails, I always tell him to save them for me. Okay. There's three steps. Number one. Hammer the nail against the rock. The goal is not to pierce the rock, but merely to score it three times across the face. Visualize what you are dispelling while you hammer. So don't hammer it straight down on it to break it. Just hit it to where it like scores the top of it, like it scratches it three times, okay? So you're visualizing what you are dispelling while you hammer. Two, you want to bury the stone far away. Remember, be visualizing what the outcome is. Be thinking ahead of time where you are going to take this uh, stone and bury it. This rock, okay? Three, carry the nail in a red mojo bag together with some crossroad and or graveyard dirt okay so that is for protection for you to banish whatever evil has um, been accompanying accompanying you okay and it's very easy so i've been uh, sharing a lot of very easy uh spell workings out of her book so that it's very easy for um, people to follow. Okay. Thank you for watching. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please hit the like. I could, I plan on continuing to do uh, more of these. And uh, anytime you hit that notification, it just comes up. Have your paper and everything ready. So you can jot it down in your grimoire, in your books, in your notebooks. And keep it for if you ever need it. If you don't need it now, you might need it later. You never know. Thank you for watching.